got there's a couple strategies I have, and a lot of stuff is based on um, your opponent's perception of what you're doing. So, for example, personally, I feel like this is the easiest arm lock to get to to attempt. Not necessarily the easiest arm lock to finish, though. So what I do is I get there, so I want I want him to react to that. So depending on how he reacts, I got all kinds of stuff to do, but he doesn't fear my guard because I just attempted to move. They seem to be able to block relatively easily. That's what he sees. What I see is, man, I easily got to this move. Now I want to see what he does. There's only so many things a guy can do. One, he can grab my hand and kind of come back into me. Okay, one, two, he can kind of just see if he can pull his arm back the other way. Three, he can pull his elbow in and keep, start getting real tight and work from, from here. Of those three, me personally, it's the most annoying if he did that. But most of the time, if I'm really wrenching his arm, he'll probably just kind of hold my head and start coming into me and, and fight me from here. Okay, so the first step in this is there's a little sweep to hit. Um, Gordon Ryan doesn't set it up from here, but it's a, similar to the one that he does. But I'm trying this arm lock, and he just grabs my head and comes into me. Okay, I put my forearm kind of in his neck. I scoot out, and I put this butterfly hook in. This arm pushes him up, and this kicks him over. Boom. Now when I kick him, he goes back. This leg, I'd like it lower if I can get it lower. But I'm kicking this up, and that sweeps here, okay? That's one option. Another option is he starts trying to pull his arm, slide his arm out, and he's, he's succeeding in that a little bit. This is more advanced, so if you're a little bit more advanced, you'll probably do this one. I'm trying this. He pulls his arm in. Cool, I'll let it go by. I put my knee on his head. I spin through an arm bar off of this guy. Okay? So again, this is set up from a position that looks very non-threatening. Like gripping him like that. It's not too hard to get to. I already attacked him with an attack that he felt like he blocked pretty easily. So I feel like I'm doing pretty good. So I'm going here. I'm holding him a little bit. And I try this arm lock. He's like, nah. That doesn't do anything to me. He starts pulling. I grip. My leg goes over his head. Right here, this foot normally is either on the hip or pulled in a little bit. I put my hand on the floor, spin through. This stays on the back of his head. I hold, put the hips forward, okay? So one more from here. I'm gonna work around, walk around with you guys. You can either do all three. I suggest pick one that you feel like you're most likely to get and kind of drill that one. But there's just several options from him grabbing your head like that. So now he pulls his elbow in, he starts to get his arm out a little bit. Boom, so his arm is out. If this happens, I'm gonna catch this wrist. So if he's yanking his arm, a lot of times his hand comes there. I grab, and I got a couple options. Option one, I slide to the top of the wrist. I got a really mean wrist lock from here. Option two is, I hold this high, boom, I go past the elbow, tuck him in, wrist, and then ship short, a short key lock in there. All this started from a guard that was not that hard to get to. So I'm here, I'm trying, I set up, I put my head here, I hold the gun. Now I feel pretty, very strong here. I switch this lock, and I'm holding. I want to see what happens. Let me try this. He's like, I'm not doing that. He curls me. I shoot out. Hook, hook, sweep. If he curls me and I'm having trouble, now I'll pull this through. If I can get to the center of my chest with the elbow, short wrist lock. If he's tough and I bend his hand, but he's like, I'm not giving into that, double up on the wrist, so he'll give to that. Here, pull this up, short key lock. Okay? You see how you got a whole lot of options here? If I hit this short key lock, he goes, he's not gonna key lock me, he'll try to grab his hand. That's when I swing through, and you can hit the arm bar for that. You're just setting him up. So, 
It looks like you're fast. My coach, I used to think that his reaction time was so good because he always get me in something, and how did he know that? And he told me, the, the more intricate your move is, the less reactions that guy can possibly have to it. So you start to know what he's going to do. So the more in depth we're in it, he can only do so many things. For example, if I'm here and I have not grabbed him, he could put his arms anywhere. He could do anything. I don't really know what he's going to do. As I start doing stuff, the reactions are different. I grabbed his collar and I grabbed his sleeve. He can't just move this arm no, nowhere. Now, there's more of a chance he would do something with this arm now. And maybe that sets up something. If I grab here and I'm holding, now there's even less stuff that he might do. Really, he's mainly going to move this arm out of here. So everything's off of this arm. He may take this hand and start shoving stuff like that, and then you can go, all right, if that happens, I've got an arm lock on this side. So you're dictating what's happening, all right? So let's work this, maybe pick one of them, we'll go from there. One, two, three.